would expect to this. There's still a slow ember of smoke steaming up from the ivory tower. For two days now, Makere's iconic structure has doused in flames that threaten to tear it down. The university was due to resume studies next month after a long break due to the COVID-19 restrictions. But students are now putting to task relevant authorities to explain what happened on the fateful day of the fire. Of course, it begs a lot of questions that, first of all, um, the smoke dictators, wasn't there an alarm when, when, uh, when the fire went started? Uh, there are over 30 fire extinguishers in that building. The security guard, I think your first, your first instinct would be get a fire extinguisher and try to put out the fire as soon as it happens because there are always security guards around there. Once you see the smoke, you open up the building and try to salvage whatever you did. We, we saw helplessly as the trucks came and first of all, they say they did not have water. They were looking for water points around the buildings. But I mean, how do you come to put out a fire and you don't even have the material to put it out? Some of these questions are already being answered by the ongoing CID investigations. So we've, uh, we've written to the Minister of Works and we have also engaged Makere University Department of Engineers to do a, a physical assessment on whether these walls can stand for probably an hour uh, so that we can enable our investigators, especially the scientists, to go and get those traces of evidence. And we believe as a team, once we have been assured or once there have been some barriers put to ensure that they fall, the, the walls don't fall on the investigators, we have all the competencies and the way, and we believe we shall give very effective and efficient results. Two police officers have been arrested for negligence. It was compromised, and we deliberately put our police officers to keep on patrolling, uh, especially to the key installations, including the main building. So unfortunately, it, 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 it didn't augur well for the fire to be communicated by a person who's not the security officer who was on patrol. So we thought uh, we would investigate them and uh, probably take their known allegations of negligence. Initial reports indicate that the fire may have started from the roof, spread into floors that house the finance and records department. But a comprehensive investigation is still underway.